Hello. Welcome to the mom. Okay, that was my intro. <laughs> I thought I would say hi to everyone and do a quick, uh, it's never quick, but I'm just going to talk about a couple of things. I wanted to, I'm in the kitchen making my food my way. <laughs> so I thought I would share a recipe with you really quick and uh, tell you guys about some really cool stuff that, and do some shout outs. It's been a while. Alright, so I wanted to give a quick shout out to Multiplicity and me, uh, a group out here, and most of you all know uh, this group, I think, but if you don't, get on over and get to know them. Just check out the link, Multiplicity and me. They were formerly Infinite Mind. They're in the UK, over there, over the pond, way over, and they're just doing great things for awareness, for living healthy with multiplicity or did. So I wanted to give a big old congratulations to Jessica, to Jake, to Eddie, to Jamie, and to Ali. And congratulations, they're graduating from Bangor University um, with their bachelor's in clinical health psychology. Um, so they have done a really a remarkable job of, and they were diagnosed when they were 18, and what do you know, 21, the body age, full speed ahead, went to Bangor's University and decided well, we're going to set some people in the UK straight about what DID is and what it isn't and how you can live well. So um, that's all I know about New Group. I don't know if you have more people there, I'm not sure. But um, I do know, I, I saw that you were getting, that you got a car for your, your graduation. I think that's so cool. Really cool car, too. <laughs> Congratulations. And they did a phenomenal uh, presentation for their dissertation. I think it's called a dissertation. Your big end of the year graduation thing, they did a like peer review like where their fellow psychology students and doctors and everything and people from the public can come and um, big dissertation on DID and they talked about media which was great. They talked about you know what we see in the media, all the different TV shows and stuff, how that's not it and how the psychiatry does get confused and um, it, I think it was really brave to be standing up there, you know, at Bangor's University saying, okay, I'm a psychology student, listen up, you're going to encounter people that have more than one with them, and that does not mean they're going to act like civil, or, it was just really cool. So I'm just giving out a shout out there. Hang on one second, I dropped something I had to pick up. Okay, sorry. I dropped like a piece of my skin from the onion and I didn't want my kitty to pick it up because that's like poison to them. So congratulations to Eddie, Jake, Jamie, and uh, Jessica and, and Ali. And uh, have an awesome celebration. That's something I've always wanted to do is go to, well I, I went to college through the mosaics, but it kind of wasn't the same because I didn't get to pick what I wanted to do. So we made a compromise where I just kind of studied stuff online that I liked, but it wasn't the same as an actual college experience, but I just think it's great that you are doing what you're doing. Okay, so I want to share a recipe um, that and, and I've been reading some really cool books. I'll talk about them really quick. So that's my recipe. <laughs> it's 1016 on Friday. It's rainy. It rains really hard and then it's muggy and it's nasty. And I wanted to make, um, mine got a little mushy. Mine always get a little mushy because I always keep it on too much. Let's turn it off. Um, that's okay because it'll all be fine. I don't mind eating a little mush. Uh, yeah, it's the end of the month. It's like you get to the end of the month and you're like, uh, got like what, two dollars and some change for laundry and I have all these like little bits of vegetables and pull them all together and make them into something and uh, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I have some stuff in the uh, 
freezer, but how much chili can we eat, right? So yesterday I made something called a pasta frita that, well, our grandmother used to call it a pasta frita. Uh, Laura Vitali and some other cooks call it a spaghetti uh, pizza. And that came out really good. I kind of did it my way. did it in a spring form pan. Some people did it in a skillet, stick it under the boiler. Um, my mother's mother used to make it in a big blue speckled roasting pan. Anything she had left over, pasta, toss it in the egg, in the oven it went. So, a little different than frittata, but um, you can eat it white, you can eat it red. You can, if you've got pasta with like pesto sauce or alfredo or bolognese or whatever, red marinara, just pop it in some egg mixture and uh, now it's set. You know, you just cook it up until it's nice, nice. And that's what I made yesterday. So I'm cleaning out my cupboards and um, seriously, I'm thinking of packing. So I've been trying to get rid of stuff. I mean, I just, I have my whole head in a whole other space lately. I just, I want everything as sparse as possible when I'm cleaning out the cupboards. So what do you always have in your cupboards? Ramen? But, but yeah, yeah, I know. Even though, even if you don't like to eat this stuff, there's always like maybe two or three, if not at least one ramen hanging around. Um, I usually cook the vermicelli, vermicelli made from rice noodles because I don't like to use these that much. If I do have to use them, I just toss out the seasoning packet, just get rid of it. It's no good for anybody. And <laughs> I replace it with um, green tea. <laughs> so that becomes my broth. So what I did was I um, added today, I had one packet of chicken, no sodium, no MSG, no gluten, natural flavoring packets. So I added my natural flavor, no, so no sodium, no whatever, although I wonder how the heck they get the flavor. I, one packet to two packages of noodles that I cooked with. I steeped one fourth of a cup of green tea. I steeped it really strong, and I, I kind of like infused my noodles in that. I just uh, cooked up my noodles till they were just like breaking apart, and into that I grated a big chunk of ginger, and I put a tablespoon of dark brown sugar and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper so it's like a nice brown um, broth. It's really pretty and I'm just going to keep adding some of that in there and uh, some garlic in it too. So to my tea and my to my green tea and my, my um, little bit of bouillon packet there I had ginger and cayenne pepper and dark pepper, or dark, dark brown sugar, and I also added a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, which I think is like one of the best seasonings around because, um, I mean, you could put, there's some things you wouldn't want to put in green tea with noodles, but green tea is like a savior for broth, it just, it just gives it a nice flavor. So I cook up my, my, um, I cooked up some broccoli and some, I chopped up one carrot into matchsticks, and I had a little bit of um, mushroom left, so I cooked those up with just a tiny bit of olive oil and like a half of a teaspoon of, of a pat of butter. And then um, I chopped up uh, about a half of a small onion, and I so I cooked up my onion, my 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 onion, my carrot. Um, my broccoli and my mushroom. And to that I did two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. But you need a vinegar when you're doing like a stir fry or just to get the flavor you want. I really kind of hemmed and hot over whether or not to add an egg to this and I decided to add one egg and scramble it in. Really good. 
we did. I scrambled it in. And now I'm just letting the juice get absorbed in there. And it kind of has like a sweet, savory flavor from the poultry seasoning. And it's just the noodles are glistening and pretty. And they're not going to be like the kind of noodles. <laughs> they're going to be a little bit mushy, but it's okay. I would say put your noodles in last. I put mine in a little too soon. Um, it's mostly just a fun vegetable dish. If you didn't want to do the egg, you don't have to. I wasn't sure if I wanted to. This has absolutely no salt. It's got pepper. If you don't want to do cayenne pepper, you can always do something else. You could do more garlic, or you could do basil, or I mean, I guess you could do whatever you wanted to do. I usually cook it till the vegetables pop up, and then the noodles are usually still swimming around. So it got a little too much broth, but that's okay. It's just one big pan of mush, yum. <laughs> but if you were going to make this, um, you know, put your noodles in last and get those going. Or cook your noodles in the broth with the vegetables, which is another way that I do it. But I wanted to try infusing my noodles into my broth. So but don't forget your apple cider vinegar because it really makes everything taste better. And your ginger, because you need ginger. It just makes it taste better. And of course your green tea. So that's what I'm doing today. Kind of like that. You want something fast food, but you don't have the money for it, so make your own. <laughs> and um, I've been reading the book, Which One Am I? Multiple Personality by uh, James Darrell uh, Williams and Thomas uh, Smith. And it's phenomenal. It's one of my very favorite books. And I would encourage everybody to read it because um, if you're looking for the title, most of you know, most of you probably know about it. If you're looking for the title, it's, the full title is, Which One Am I? Multiple Personalities and Deep Southern Secrets. And what's really cool is it looks at the geography of where people live and the culture and how it changes and how family systems affect personality development, how generations upon generations of expectations goals that weren't achieved, failures, um, how it all gets dragged forward and how it affects maybe the development of personalities or, or people in, in the system. And it's written by Thomas who is partner to the group, uh, James Darrell Williams, and it's written lovingly and with respect and with no blame. It's written without a victim mentality, which I love. It's, it doesn't, it just explores. It just states the facts, and the facts are very clear. There was abuse, there was trauma, there was plenty of reason to develop the medical trauma model of many personalities. However, it goes deeper, and I think that's real cool. It looks at spirituality, it looks at who was available in uh, their lives and who and who ended up in their system, which is very interesting. And um, it asks psychiatry to look at it uh, in a more healthy way too. So between all the awareness that's going on and people trying to look at this more healthy and people writing books like Which One Am I? Excellent. Another book I'm reading is called My Mother Had a Secret by Tiffany Fletcher. It does have a little bit more of a victim beginning, but it triumphs with forgiving her mom because her mom was misdiagnosed and there was abuse in the past. And a lot of their religious dogma got into the mix and made this woman really suffer more than she had to between the dogma and the misdiagnoses and everything and her own shame. Um, she wasn't available as a mom to her daughter, and her daughter wrote this book, and it was very forgiving and very accepting, and um, so it was two completely different books. So those are two books that I've read, and I want to say hello to everybody, and shout outs to everyone. Okay, take care. Go make yourself some fun food. Bye.